Hi, here's a quick video on the new layouts in note pages feature for the Remarkable. Um, th this is brilliant, it's going to be a real game changer. But what you can do effectively is add templates to your note pages in PDFs and then you can tag them. So how it would work, so for example, I use a PDF planner. So this is a, a planner I'm working on at the moment. Um, one of the pages I've got is for goals, so I've got goal summaries here. Um, but if I want to extend this particular goal summary and make notes on it, all I have to do now is just put a little signifier that there's an extra note page. And then if you click here to expand the PDF and then just add a new note page, um, what you can do, which you couldn't do before, is you can actually select now a template. So you can choose any of the uh, remarkable templates. So for example, a, a lined paper. Um, so you can just go ahead and, and make your, your notes. So this is for goal, uh, it's a major goal, life goal uh, number one. And I can make, uh, you make notes on this here. And um, what I've also noticed is the pages that you add on uh, continuous scrolling as well, which I don't think was um, available before. So this ties in nicely as well with the other new feature, which is the select below tool. So for example, if you're writing um, a list um, in your notebook and you want to add a new entry to the list, you just click the select tool, put a little line here um, in between your list, select below, you can move that down, and then you can write a new entry in here. Um, so you can really work away on, on that uh, on that note page. Now, the, the good thing about it is then you can tag it. So if I click the tag button, select new, and just tag it with the signifier that I had in the PDF earlier on, so major goal one. Um, then if I go back to the main planner, uh, the main PDF, and this will be good if you've got um, you know, if you're reading a book and you want to have book notes on, things like that. Um, but for example, here, I can see that I've got a note. And if you've got a linked PDF, you can quickly find your list of items and you quickly then, quickly, sorry, select the expand button. And then your tags here are at the top. So if you click your tag, you can really easily find that note page. Um, so that's that's gonna be really good for lots and lots of use cases. So for example, if you've got a, a meeting notes um, page in, in your planner or in a PDF with meeting notes. So for example, this is projects, but we've got projects 0101, projects 0101, a meeting with John. So I can see that that happened on this particular day. And again, I can just go to expand the page, add a new notebook with a template of lined notes. And then it was for this one, it's project 0101. And I tag that then, I've already, I've already put one in, so project 0101. And then I can make, so if it's a meeting, you can make your meeting notes here. And then when you go back to your planner, you can have a section for you know meeting notes um, and then here you can see well I had a meeting with John where's the notes for that and again just expand the PDF click on it and there's your your meeting notes and um, so again there's lots of use cases I can imagine if you know you're reading a book you want to annotate a, you know a PDF of a book and you want to annotate it um, you can quickly find those notes. Um, what I think might be best for me as, as I'm thinking through this is rather than, um, you know, if you've got um, a PDF that you, um, let's for example, let's go here. Um, you, want, you want to keep the PDF in its original order. Um, you might want to have your notes at the very end. So rather than adding like here, uh, adding a new page, um, you want to just potentially go to the very end um, and add new pages on the end for your notes so that the PDF keeps its structure. Uh, that's the only other thing I can think of. But yeah, I'm going to have a play around with this.
but yeah, I think that's going to be, be really good. So you don't have to have a massive, massive PDF um, with, with note pages that you might potentially use. You can just put a little signifier on. So this project here, um, you know, project one, and then, you know, add on a note, etc., etc. Yeah, so that's the new feature, um, which is the, I'll show you again. Which is the layouts in note pages feature. Um, so you can add the templates to note pages. You can track your tags as well. So you can search using the keyword keyword and your results will include a tagged document. So that's something else they've done. But for the main part of it, this this is really, really cool. So I hope you found that helpful. And um, yeah, if you've any, any questions uh, or um, if you think you'd use it in a different way or, or you would or wouldn't use it, let me know. Um, hopefully you found this helpful.